Kim Kardashian and Kris Jenner's secret meeting with Meghan Markle for a mega deal exposed. A skeptical meeting has been unveiled, leaving fans and gossip mongers in a frenzy. Brace yourselves for the worlds of reality TV queen Kim Kardashian, her mom and Kris Jenner, and Meghan Markle have collided in a mega deal that has been laid bare for all to see. You will not convince me that Kim Kardashian didn't see her mother taking a photo with Meghan Markle's mom and say, you know what, I'm the one that's supposed to be in this photo. I'm the one that needs to be talked about. So she decided to jump in and photo bomb. But what does this shocking revelation mean for these figures who have struggled to elevate their social numbers and public images? Will this unexpected alliance be their saving grace? Join in as we pull the curtains back as fans eagerly await to witness the consequences that lie in store for these three larger-than-life personalities. According to reports, the Kardashians have decided to team up with Meghan Markle being driven by their alleged struggles in promoting their TV show. With the Kardashians' reality TV show, longtime fans have been left largely disappointed by their new era, which has seen the family scale back on drama in favor of mundanity and brand promotions, undoubtedly making the sisters struggle to crack more than a million viewers for certain episodes. This is in comparison to the 2010 Keeping Up With The Kardashian season premiere, which brought in 4 million viewers, and the 10.5 million viewers who turned in for Kim and Chris Humphrey's wedding episode in 2011. Fans even took to Reddit to complain about how boring some seasons were, claiming they feel the distance about the whole show. According to many fans, there's still no new ground to break and they aren't showing anything they don't already know about them hinting that the real storylines are all over the news and social media. Some alleged that the show lost its appeal when it stopped being a reality show about family. In their opinions, in the first season, the family get-togethers and vacations didn't feel staged because they didn't go through hours of glam to film a scene, they just existed and the cameras captured the chaos. Interestingly, the Kardashians are well aware that their reality TV show is a flop because immediately after the Kardashians' second season, Kim Kardashian asked Twitter what sort of content her family should include in season 3 with the same desperation as a car salesman. She posted, Do you guys like family stuff, work stuff, kid stuff, behind the scenes shoots? family pranks and in one episode kim kardashian and some of her family members were addressing viewers complaints head on in one of the most bizarre meta moments on reality tv during the episode aggressively titled don't want it don't need it i'm done kim sits down with her younger sisters chloe kardashian and courtney kardashian's ex scott Disick, to lament a variety review that criticized the show's essentially plot free season two saying that I don't share enough. I mean, I potentially have cancer on my face. I'm talking about that. There was an article about our show that said that Chloe didn't give enough with her Tristan situation. I'll tell you something. I have no guilt because I show so much about my life and I do it in a very vulnerable, good way. Chloe Kim said in a confession, first of all, we filmed everything. We shared everything. Also defending her now ex-boyfriend's minimal appearances throughout the past season, addressing the fans' disappointment of Pete not being on the show, claiming she had already told them it is not what he does. Chloe also claimed that with her surrogacy, she was overwhelmingly vulnerable and she was leading people into what she was struggling with. But were the Kardashians still struggling to find their balance even after years of exposure? According to some critics, one of the most notable challenges the Kardashians have encountered is the oversaturation of their brand. In their opinions, everywhere you turn, there's a Kardashian or a Jenner promoting something, whether it is a makeup line, a clothing brand, or even a deity, claiming that with so many ventures and endorsements, it can be difficult for audiences to keep up and maintain interest in their reality TV show. The Kardashians have also faced constant criticism and backlash, and let's face it, they're not strangers to controversy. From cultural appropriation accusations to questionable business decisions, the Kardashians have often found themselves in the middle of public scrutiny. This negative attention, as per some, is undoubtedly affecting the promotion of their reality TV show, as some viewers are supposedly turned off by the family's auction, by the family's actions 
and choose no to tune in. It seems their one weapon social media is double-edged because it has both helped and hindered the Kardashians' promotion efforts. On one hand, platforms like Instagram and Twitter have allowed them to directly connect with their fans and generate buzz around their show. They have mastered the art of creating intrigue and anticipation through cryptic posts and teasers. However, on the other hand, social media has also given rise to a new breed of influencers and reality TV stars, making it hard for the Kardashians to stand out in a crowded digital landscape. Kim and the rest of her family have obviously been struggling to boost their social media numbers and public images lately. So could this revelation of a secret meeting be a game changer or a major setback for them? However, important to note is the fact that the Kardashians won't be the only beneficiaries of this collaboration because Meghan Markle is also on the brink of her social glory days. So what better way to make a great comeback than with the Kardashians? Meghan has been struggling to make her mark in the business field and she has faced criticism and scrutiny for her involvement in various ventures. One of the most notable examples is her collaboration with the fashion brand The Smart Set, which aimed to provide professional attire for women in need. While the initiative received praise for its charitable intentions, it also faced backlash for its high price points, which some argued contradicted the brand's mission of inclusivity. Her brand with Spotify also went down the drain as the brand confirmed it was not renewing Megan's podcast archetypes, which ran for 12 episodes from August 2022 for a second series. The contract was estimated to be worth $25 million in late 2020. The podcast deal was one of the major commercial agreements the couple entered into after quitting royal duties and relocating to the US in 2020. When it was first announced in the late 2020, the prince said it would bring forward different perspectives and voices that perhaps you haven't heard before. Archetypes saw Meghan speak to high-profile figures like Serena Williams and Mariah Carey about stereotypes leveled against women. All the time, Meghan wrote, I love digging my hands into the process, sitting up late at night in bed, working on the writing and creative, and I loved digging deep into to meaningful conversation with my diverse and inspiring guests, laughing and learning with them. It has been such a labor of love. Obviously, when the agreement with Spotify was firstly publicly acknowledged, it was billed as a relationship which would produce several series, but in the end, only one materialized because media reports suggest that the royal couple failed to meet the productivity benchmark required by Spotify and therefore wouldn't be receiving the full value of the contract. Additionally, since splitting from the royal family, Harley and Meghan have looked to capitalize on their global fame in order to become financially independent. That has included a multi-million dollar content deal with Netflix which was short-lived because according to the Sun, sources claim that Netflix executives have cautioned the couple saying they needed to continue to produce content with a highly viewership if they want to be paid in full. The exact dollar amount of Harry and Meghan's deal with Netflix has never been disclosed but reports claim it's around a hundred million dollars and the couple have reportedly received half of the payment but Netflix won't pay the rest until the pair produces more content for the streaming giant and it needs to perform well. Netflix was pleased to sign Harry and Meghan and is looking for some great ideas going forward. An insider explained, adding, but the reminder of the deal relies on them producing those good ideas. They continued, the deal's continually under review which is normal for ones of this magnitude. One report earlier this month claimed the parents of the two are growing increasingly concerned over money now that their collab with Spotify has ended and they are looking to other ways to grow their wealth. Turning to her marriage, Meghan and Prince Harry's relationship has been under intense media scrutiny since their engagement. The couple has faced numerous challenges including invasive tablet coverage, racial bias and the pressures of royal life. These factors undoubtedly put a strain on their relationship and rumors of a possible divorce are circulated in the media, which has presumably prompted Megan to make a comeback with the aim of relaunching herself with the help of the Kardashians. Chris Jenner 
Daria Ragland and Kim Kardashian met up at a party in LA. Splitting the tea, a source told the outlet that Ragland had such a blast hanging out with Jenner and Kardashian who were friendly and warm towards her, going out of their way to make her feel welcome. It is also believed that Meghan has been in touch with the Kardashian-Jenner family via Zoom calls and in-person meetings over time. They have reportedly been discussing opportunities in the realms of fashion and wellness with any Anything they work on said to be synced to Meghan's Instagram return. Ellen DeGeneres is said to have put Meghan in touch with the Kardashians and they've been brainstorming ideas on how they can collaborate. The source also revealed that Meghan sees the Kardashians as a secret weapon due to their expertise in social media and their status as billionaires and big movers and shakers in the industry. The source disclosed Meghan feels that there is no harm teaming up to share expertise and see where it takes them. Collaborations between celebrities are not uncommon. They often serve as means to enhance visibility, expand audiences, and generate buzz. The Kardashians have faced criticism for their perceived lack of substance and excessive focus on materialism. On the other hand, Meghan Markle has been subjected to intense media scrutiny with multiple failed ventures and have often been portrayed in a negative light. By collaborating, both parties potentially addressed these issues head on. The Kardashians reality TV platform will ultimately provide Meghan with an opportunity to showcase her philanthropic endeavors, shed light on important social issues and demonstrate her multifaceted personality beyond the royal persona. And in return, Meghan's involvement will bring a new level of depth and authenticity to the Kardashian brand, showing a more relatable side of their lives, resulting in a significant boost in ratings for their reality TV show. Fans of both parties will obviously be intrigued to witness the dynamics between the glamorous Kardashian family and the elegant Duchess. The combination of the star power coupled with the curiosity factor make it compelling for fans to tune into their show which only means a rating gold mine for the Kardashians. Will this secret meeting be their ticket to redemption or just another lurking fell on their path? We want to hear your thoughts on this explosive revelation. Do you think this secret meeting will help Kim Kardashian, Kris Jenner and Meghan turn this thing around or will it further tarnish their already shaky reputation? because of the drama themed nature of reality tv leave your opinions in the comment section below and let's get the discussion going and if you enjoyed these scandalous updates don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more exclusive celebrity news and gossip